this is the first mathematical result that says anything about entropy. So basically what entropy is, is it's the expected value of this funny function, 1 over log of the probability. And what we're going to say is that most sequences have probability pretty close to this mean. In other words, changes here, I can say probability, x1, x2, and so on, on the xn. Isn't that h? Why would you... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's h. I said entropy up loud, but for some reason I wrote expectation up there. Sorry about that. That's right. Probability, if I make, if I make these substitutions, that's approximately equal to 2 to the n h of x. excuse me, 2 to the minus n h of x. Okay, so let's look forward here. Let's, uh, let's anticipate what we're going to see. So, uh, most of the time, a long sequence will have probability close to this. And with arbitrarily small probability, it won't have a sequence close to that. So, how many sequences will have probability close to this? Well, it'll be... Um, they're, they all have approximately the same probability, so the number of sequences should be 1 over that, should be 2 to the n of that. Um, could you clarify, which, which number of sequences is this? So, um, this is the number of sequences of, the number of possible sequences of x1, x2 up to xn. So, x, these are random variables. So this is a sequence of random variables. So um, what I'm saying is that, okay, the number of all possible sequences is clearly cardinality of x to the n. But the number of likely sequences, so it's most likely that if I pick, what the weak law of large numbers is telling us is that if I pick such a sequence, its probability is likely very close to here. So therefore, let's call those the likely sequences. Actually, later we're going to call them by a specific technical term called the typical sequences. But for now, let's just think of them as likely sequences. So it's quite likely that I will pick a sequence with probability 2 to the minus n h of x. So the number of such sequences is this, 2 to the n h of x, because they all have about the same probability. So the number of likely sequences is roughly this. So, um, if that's the number of likely sequences, then how many bits do I need to encode those sequences? So let's say I have k sequences. The number of bits I need to encode them is log 2k. So here, the number of bits that I need to encode the most likely sequences, log 2 to the nhk, 2 to the nhx, which is equal to nh of x, so this is why entropy is important. It's because if I start out with n symbols, h of x tells me how much I can compress. So for instance, if the entropy is quite small, then I can get away with far fewer than n bits. Let's make that rigorous. <coughs> 